Honorable Minister, uh, Sri Arjun Mundasi, and then all the other uh, dignitaries from the uh, uh, ministry. It's indeed an honor and pressure for uh, Indian Institute of Science to be part of this um, initiative. I think uh, before I go into the specifics, I think it is indeed a game changer that the Ministry of uh, Tribal Affairs is embarking on this large scale collaboration and co cooperation with the uh, leading educational institutions. Um, I think what has happened earlier was scattered initiatives by all of us uh, in various uh, areas related to tribal welfare. But uh, this initiative will provide uh, a focus and uh, yeah, organizing principle around which all of us can make a big impact on uh, you know, tribal uh, welfare. So I thank uh, the minister and uh, the ministry for uh, this opportunity. And coming to the specific project uh, that we will help uh, the ministry with. Uh, so as you know, semiconductor electronics is a need of the hour for the country. Uh, it is a strategic area where India wants to be self-sufficient, that the Honorable Prime Minister has made it very clear. And it has also launched the semiconductor mission uh, um, uh, for this purpose. So even any uh, you know, fab, say the one being set up by Tata's, would require at least 2,500 people trained in various areas at all levels. So the training program that we will embark on for tribal population uh, will uh, enable them to get trained on the largest academic fab in the country. We have, in fact, it is not just the largest academic fab, it's uh, really a world-class fab. I you know, invite you to please come and visit and see the place. And um, so they'll get the best training possible, not just in India, but anywhere in the world. And uh, so we are happy to partner with them. And I think this will really make a big impact because this will be a step up for them, not just an incremental change. They're really getting into high tech area through this. <coughs> uh, also, we have prior experience in this because we have through our uh, Indian Nano Electronics user program, we have trained already 6,000 plus people in this area. And uh, as the secretary mentioned, this is only the start. Uh, we have already done some work using micro turbines in tribal areas in Chhattisgarh. Uh, we have also uh, developed point of care health devices for sickle cell anemia. We also have very innovative water treatment uh, solutions. So there are so many areas that we can collaborate with. And I'm sure, you know, going forward, we'll sit down with the ministry and uh, make a big uh, uh, difference in this area. So with these words, let me again thank and I say this is really a big step. We can see a change uh, being brought about by the ministry, uh, which will really transform uh, this whole area by making it at a different level compared to what it was. Thank you again, Minister.